Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I guess we're gonna head north and see what exactly happens. Looks like this guy right here might try and stop us. Hey, that's Alicia and Ally doing a shoot over there. Oh, is there some kind of movie show going on or something? Are you serious, Alicia? Let's go. Oh, they're probably talking about the Pokemon contest stuff. I... Oh, wow, she's got an Altaria there. And she is looking all kinds of swagged out right now. Hey, everybody! Alicia here. I don't know how to pronounce that. Me and my Altaria, Ally, have come to Slateport City's Contest Spectacular Hall for a bit of fun. Well then, watch me as I dive right in again today. Yeah! Dazzling, dizzying, doldrums defying. And people just randomly spin, I guess because they're getting so dizzy. Oh my. She's popping that booty right there. Leisha's Miraculous Contest Scouting. Uh, so, scout me to be your next boyfriend. Oh my. Everyone's really hyped for her, I guess. But I think we're going to be taking the spotlight eventually. This is the wild world of contesting. Let me guess, she's going to pick me out. And she's going to be like, hey, bro, you need to come compete against me. Oh, yep. You there, watching me with that baffled expression on your face. Hi. Have you never joined in a contest? That's what I just what I wanted to hear. No, I have not. I was not expecting to do this today. You know, guys, I just realized that we're already 11 episodes into this, into this series, and I have only caught one Pokemon. And his name is... Psycho! When I take a good look, I could easily see that Psycho is a powerful trainer, with several badges of his own already. Psycho! You can enjoy contest spectaculars at the Pokemon Contest Hall right here. Now listen up, because I don't want to see you making your Pokemon strong. I want to see you bringing out a whole new brilliant side to them to show off. So here you go, take these. This is a contest pass, which is the first thing that anyone needs to take part in a contest spectacular. And this one is a Pokeblock kit, which will let you make Pokeblocks for your Pokemon out of berries. So yes, the Pokeblocks, which are those Pokemon candies, we can make them out of berries. And we can use that to raise various things that will help us out in the contests. So we've got those items now. Psycho's story begins today. Yep, and this chapter should be titled... Pumpin' Out Booty! A sudden encounter, miraculous contest scouting. That's a very long chapter there, but that's what she would call it. Now everybody out there watching, you better expect great things from Psycho because I do. That's it for today, Alicia's miraculous contest scouting. See you all next time. Altari! Clap, clap, clap. No one's clapping. And they're admiring her cuteness, I guess. There we are. So, she's saying to try her hand at a contest here. Kind of surprised the camera's leaving, she's still being all nice. A lot of the times, these types of characters that are these popular celebrities, they'll like, be nice in camera, then as soon as the cameras leave, they turn into jerks, but I guess not this time. But although the contests are very, very tempting, we are going to move on here, because I do need to get a bicycle. And here is Cycling Road. I'm not sure if we can actually do anything with this quite yet. I do think we have to get to the next town first. But that is going to be my goal, guys. Like I said, I'm going to be skipping as much as possible as we go here. Uh, unless I have to do something to get these guys to move. So they're going to keep going through Route 110 and head for Mount Chimney. So I guess that'll probably be one of our upcoming objectives. Well, that's quite far. Why don't we take a rest in Marble City? It's on the way. Great idea. So I guess Marble City might actually be the next one. The one we were just in is Slateport. I think I called it Marble at some point. Do I have to battle them? Yes, I do. But don't worry guys, I will be coming back probably in the next episode or maybe episode 13. And we will definitely be exploring these areas in much more detail. Uh, Slateport City and all the different routes. We'll be picking up any hidden items we might find. All kinds of good stuff. But I just want to go and get my, my darling Aaron first. So we'll get the bike. Now don't worry guys, I know it's taking a while to get my second Pokemon. But once we get this, our third and fourth will actually be coming relatively soon. So we'll have a pretty solid team probably by episode 20. If not sooner than that. Uh, let's try out Fury Cutter and see how that does. Quick Attack didn't do so great. I can't recall if Mega Drain is uh, good against Electric. I think it's just neutral, but the thing is with these uh, Electric types, they usually have a, a higher special defense debt. Not always the case, but sometimes. So he's going to go ahead and paralyze me there. I could probably remove that with a berry I have. Uh, one second, guys. I forgot to switch the screens there. I don't think it was too bad, but... Um, Sometimes I forget to swap the screens back and forth. Anyways, let's go ahead and try again to Mega Drain. We got stuck in paralysis before. I guess I'll just catch everyone up to speed if you're not familiar with Pokemon. Mega Drain... What the heck? I mean, paralysis. It gives me a chance to not move that turn, as well as cuts my speed stat in half. 
So if you have a humongous speed advantage over the opponent, you can still go first, but it's pretty unlikely. Unless you do something like that, use a quick attack. So there we go. Got some pretty good experience. And Crud is still level uh, 13. You know what, guys? Just to avoid getting full experience on my Gex, I'm actually going to use Crud here. Maybe I should leave Crud on the team. What do you guys think? Because I have five members of my team planned out. The last spot is kind of up in the air, so I could. I could have Crud be it. I was kind of expecting to have to use an HM Slave for my last spot, so maybe Crud is the way to go. He goes with a switcheroo here. Oh, he switched items. Okay. So he basically just gave me his Orin Berry because I did not have an item. Let's see. Headbutt did that much. Uh, I could go for Cut. I can't recall if Cut or Headbutt has more. Let's see. Headbutt has 70. Cut has 50. So Headbutt is definitely the way to go. Probably going to take me like three or four more of these things. And now he's going to switch items and take back his Orin Berry. Hopefully he switches back and... Oh, I got a critical there. Darn it, he goes and eats the berry now. I was hoping he would give me the berry when he needed it. I go for pickup, and I found a berry of my own, which is actually not a good thing. So he's going to use Encore here, which is going to make me keep using Headbutt. But I just realized, guys, my ability made me pick up a berry. Now, he might do Switcheroo and take the berry from me and then use it, so... Ah, I don't know. He's actually going for Spark here, and knocks me down to 13, uh, by 13, but it doesn't kill me, so we're good. One attack left here. He's going to go for switcheroo. Please don't eat that berry. He just stole my berry. And he eats it. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it, Crud. Why do you have to have a stinking pickup ability? Please tell me this still takes him down. And it doesn't. This is... No! Don't you dare take my berry again. Okay, he's using spark. If he used switcheroo again and, take my, and ate my berry, I would have been very upset. But I'll eat the berry myself. How about that? I think it just heals you by 10. I'm just going to use the headbutt. Get my noon finished. So that battle was way longer than it needed to be because I was using crud. Maybe that was a bad idea. I do need to go remove this paralysis from my Gex, though. Up to level 14 with crud. And a little bit of experience for Gex as well. So 960 Poké Dollars. Let me go and remove that paralysis. Let's go bag. And I think one of the berries I have can do that. Or I could use the Paralyze Heal. Uh, but let's go check out the berries first. Uh, yeah, we have... Tons of cherry berries, and those will remove paralysis. So we'll take that off of Gex. Did Crud have an item to take? No. I'm pretty sure that if they use the item in battle, they're not going to have one outside of battle. So let's try to avoid as many trainers here as we can. And I think there's actually some pretty cool Pokemon we could get in the grass here, but I'm going to try to avoid them as well. Here we can get a dire hit. I think that raises critical hit chance in battle. Something like that. Ow! Ooh, he almost saw me. There's a Pokemon right there. We could spot, but... Oh, crud, guys. Right here, we actually have a battle with May. You know what? I'm going to go into my bag and give a berry to my to my Gex. I think I'm going to give them... You know what? Let's go ahead and give them a Petra Berry. Actually, never mind. They have Miracle Seed already. I'm going to leave that on them. So let's go and battle her. Hello. Hey, Psycho. It's been ages. Nice timing, too. I was just searching for Pokemon, you know? My dad is always going on about how nature used to be even more diverse way back in the day. He says there used to be way more kinds of Pokemon than there are now. Did Pokemon go extinct? I Have they ever mentioned the possibility of Pokemon going extinct in, in the story? Like, this is an extinct Pokemon. I guess the fossil Pokemon kind of are, and they're bringing them back. But, I don't know. So how about a little battle? Let's go for it. My Gex versus your entire team. She has three Pokemon here. I wish I had three. She's going to send out a Whalmer, which will be very easy for me to take down. I'll just hit it with a Mega Drain or two. Now, I think Whalmer has one of the highest HP stats in the game, so maybe one won't take him down, but maybe it will. Let's find out. And definitely not just one, but a second one will finish him off. He's not low enough to be using a Berry here. Going to go with a Whirlpool, which should not be very effective. I figured if that has any secondary effect. Yep, I am trapped in a Vortex. I think this is similar to like a Wrap or a Fire Spin type move. But even with a Critical, that didn't do very much damage at all. So this Mega Drain will take him down. It'll probably heal me back up to full as well while we're at it. And it does. So that's down two more Pokemon to go. Of course, they are going to have either a Torchic or a Combusken if it has evolved. So that might be the trickiest part of this battle. So we got the Experience Share. Yep, they're going to send out Combusken here. I think I'm going to switch Pokemon and go over to Crud. And unfortunately, they are pretty low on HP. Hopefully, I can get at least one attack off. 
because I am going to be using a sand attack to lower their accuracy to give my Gex a better chance at survival here. So level 20 of their own, so maybe my Gex is actually not overleveled. Maybe I should have trained him a bit more. They're going to go with a sand attack of their own. Hopefully that does not make mine miss. And unfortunately they hit with a sand attack and then mine misses. They're going to go with a flame charge crud. And that does take me down, so... And that raises their speed! So sending out Crud was actually worse than not sending him out. They got a speed raise out of that. Whereas if I went directly with Gex, we would be on a more even playing field here. They might still be slower than me because Gex is so fast, but... I guess I'm gonna go with Fury Cutter. I don't know if I should go with this or Quick Attack. And of course they have Peck, which is gonna be super effective. I think they also could just use their Flame Charge. Now that w Ah! I forgot their part flying because they're a bird. Uh, I might need to heal because they could just use Flame Charge. This is going to be a tough battle, guys. The fact that my Sand Attack missed is a huge, huge downside. That really sucks. And I still have one Pokemon to deal with after this as well. I probably should have actually used Charm with my... Uh, with my... Oh, my gosh, I'm alive. My heart just, like, sank right there. I'm going to go and see if I have a Super Potion. Yes, I do. So I'm going to use that. It will restore 50 HP, which is almost enough to bring me back to full. But yeah, if I got a Charm off with my Zigzagoon, that probably would have helped out because it would have greatly lowered their attack stat. It does not look like they're using any kind of flame attacks on me. And yeah, Charm would have been good. But I guess let's try Mega Drain. It's not going to be very good. I think it's going to be four time resisted, actually. They're going to go with another double kick. Drop me way down. Fresh water might help me out, but even still... I guess that move was the way to go, even though it wasn't very effective. It still has the same type of attack bonus and the benefits of my Miracle Seed. So let me go ahead, use a Fresh Water. I'm pretty much going to lose this battle though, I think, guys. Unless I can pull out a Miracle here. Huh? Miracle Seed? But no, this is pretty much over. Oh, maybe? Okay, they're going for a Sand Attack, so maybe if I get lucky and don't miss at all, I might have a chance here. Here we go, here we go. They're going to use a Peg. No Critical! Okay, no critical, we're good. And I hit him! Okay, I might have a chance here. I'm gonna go for one more Mega Drain, followed up by a Quick Attack. And if I do that, I might be able to win. They're gonna go for another pack, please no critical. Okay, come on, hit him, hit him! Yes! Okay, if this Quick Attack hits, I will take them down, and I might have a chance to win this still. We're still in this, guys. Do not miss. Do not miss. Yes! The downside here is that the Quick Attack's effects are still going to be active on my on my Gex here, and I have no way to remove them. I am not sure if I have a Revive, but they're just going to send out a Shroomish. I can handle a Shroomish. Probably. Alright, I think uh, Bug-type is going to be good against a Grass-type here. Super effective! Two more of those will take them down. They're going to go with the Mega Drain, though. Not going to do very much damage. Come on, just don't get any misses here. I hope they don't have any attacks they're hiding that might be enough to take me down or anything like that. Of course, they avoided the attack. Gonna go with the headbutt, and that hurts pretty bad. I don't even know if I want to risk things here. I might go and heal up. Let's see, see if I have any revives here. I do have one revive. Let me go and use that on my Gex, just in case. I think that is gonna be the way to go. Now, I have like 100 potions here, so let me go and start using them here. Gonna heal up my Gex a little bit. Now, even if I did not use that code, I still would have had, I, I believe, 10 potions. So, this is not really using stuff I would not have had anyways. But I think if I use just one of these, then I can start using Mega Drain, even though it's going to be resisted. I think the heals are going to make it worthwhile here. They're going to go with another Headbutt. Of course, those hurt by 11 damage. But if I use a Mega Drain, I should be able to take three of those instead of just two. Of course, they avoid. Gosh dang it. Maybe I should switch just to get rid of this Sand Attack, actually. You know what, guys? I might be sacrificing Crud. But I think that getting rid of the Sand Attack is going to be the victory for me. So that is what I'm going to do here. So let's go Crud! And if I can, I'm going to be using a Charm on them as well. They didn't take me down, so they are going to heal quite a lot from that Mega Drain. But there is a chance that I can actually go first here. So let's go for Charm. Hope that I'm faster. They... Oh, they missed! I think they went for a Stun Spore there. Charm is going to greatly reduce their attack stat, which is going to help out so much here. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go for a Sand Attack. Maybe they'll miss again. Nope, I'm just going to go for a Mega Drain to finish me off. So Crud is down, but he has actually been very useful for this battle. So thank you very much, Crud. Had to waste a revive on that one, though. So let's go back to Gex, and I guess we'll see if we can finish this guy off. Now with no sand attack in reserve, I think... 
things will be fine. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna use a Mega Drain just to get to the point where I will not get killed by a Critical Headbutt. I think Critical Headbutt is gonna be the thing that can take me down. So as long as they're using Mega Drain, I'll just use Mega Drain in return. If I can get them low enough for a Fury Cutter to finish them off, then I'll just go with that, because I don't think it's gonna miss now that I don't have any Sand Attack issues. But yeah, Critical Headbutt is my biggest concern right now. And I think I'm at a point where I can survive it. Maybe not, actually. You know what? Oh, they got a critical with that Mega Drain. I'm going to go with one more Mega Drain here and then go with a Fury Cutter. I think that might be enough to take them down. Yes, look at that. Did I get a critical of my own? I did. Trading criticals. They're going to go with the Headbutt. No critical. Haha. -ha. Oh, right. I am an idiot, guys. I forgot that I reduced their attack stat with Zigzagoon. And I'm so used to the old games where if you get a critical, it ignores the stat drops. But I think in this game, even if they got a critical, it still would have affected their headbutt attack. So I don't think even that would have killed me. So take that, man. We defeated you. That was actually a really intense battle. I thought I was going to lose that. Psyche, you've been busy training too, haven't you? Not really. Oops, but look at us. Our teams look pretty tired. Let's get them taken care of first. So it looks like she's going to heal up my team here. You had your Pokemon's HP restored. And now I think you deserve a reward too. Here's this from me. And we get a dousing machine. I think we can use that to locate hidden items, right? Let's see. That's a dousing machine. Try it out. If there's a hidden item anywhere near you, that little thing will react to tell you. Pay attention. It'll lead you right to items. And it's fun to see all the things, uh, those waving bits above your head. Try it and I'll bet you'll be hooked. Careful, you won't be able to sneak up on Pokemon while you wear it. See you later then, Psycho. Let's meet again. I hope we'll both be able to meet even more Pokemon on our journeys. And she's just showing off that she has a bicycle here. We're, of course, going to go up ahead and get a bicycle of our own very soon. Now, guys, um, my Pokemon are a bit underleveled, I know. And it's partially because I have been skipping so much. But we'll go back and do all of that. Also, now that we have the dousing machine, I think next episode is going to be a lot of backtracking. I think what we're going to do, guys, is next time I'm going to go back, get all of the hidden items from all of the previous areas with the dousing machine, since we can now uncover them. I'll also be catching an Aeron because I'm pretty sure we're just about to get the bicycle. And our team will start to come together. So next episode is going to be a very awesome one. Although this one itself was pretty intense as well with that battle with May. I hear Gex gets up to level 22. That was, of course, an Electrike there. A Pokemon I considered adding to my team, but I don't think that I'm going to. Let's check out the sign, trainer tips, and something about status effects. I think I'm just going to run from this battle. Or maybe not, it's actually a Gulpin, something we have not seen before. I think I will still run from it, but I just wanted to show you that to you guys. It is a Poison-type Pokemon, a bit of a slow one as well. Another Pokemon I considered adding. I considered a lot of Pokemon from this area just because I wanted to have something that uh, I could add to the team. Because you see my team is kind of empty at this point. Uh, dang it! I didn't want them to turn that way. I have foreseen your intentions. I cannot possibly lose. Well, I guess we're just going to have to go into this battle and wreck them. Thankfully, May healed us up there. So they're going to send out an Abra, which is not a good thing. I'm pretty sure that Psychic is good against Grass. Actually, no, never mind. Psychic is good against Poison. And let's just go with a Fury Cutter. I'm going to go with a Physical Attack. Gosh dang it, they avoided it. But I want to go with a Physical Attack because Abra tends to have pretty high special defense. Uh, you know, let's just go with Quick Attack. Keep things simple here. I think that Pursuit could also be super effective because it's Dark type. I gotta look up how Pursuit works, because I know it does more damage if they switch or something like that. I'm not sure if it does any worthwhile damage if they don't switch, so... Yeah. I'll, I'll look into that later. We wrecked this guy. Hooray! Crud grew to level 15 as well! And we defeated Psychic Edward! I failed to prophesy my own demise. Wouldn't that be prophesize? I don't know. I don't really know the plural or the past tense or whatever for prophesize or for prophecy. But there's a couple more trainers here, it looks like. There's also some, some berries. But again, I'm just going to be skipping ahead here because up in this town, I'm pretty sure we can finally get... Oh, crud. Marvel City's right here. And there's Wally! Can you guys not interrupt me? I want to get my bicycle. Wow, so this is Marvel City. Haha, -ha, you seem to be enjoying it, Wally. So what would you like to do? Do you want to grab a bite to eat at the Marvel Food Court? Is this like a giant mall? Is that what the city is? All right, so Rital Cycles, that's where we want to go. Would you like that? I bet the exercise would be good for your health. No, thank you. I want to challenge the gym right away. What? Let me see. I'm pretty sure the gym is... Um... Straight ahead. Yep. Uh, that's just the inner courtyard. Okay. So, so long, Wally. It's kind of a second rival for us. May and Wally are both going to be rivals for us. 
So, so long, Wally. And we got all kinds of stuff we can do here, but I think I want to go right to Rital Cycles first. And I think this is it. Uh, do I talk to the lady outside here? Hello? Can I have a bicycle, please? Marble City, this bright and shiny... I... Oh. I thought I was talking to the... Oh, this is just a bike rack. Gosh dang it. I thought it was the, the actual bike store. So I go this way, I think. That actually looks like a food store. Yeah, it is. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey there, trainer. This is your first time here, right? The food court's a bit strange, so there are some rules you have to follow before you eat. I come here all the time so I can tell you about them. Number one, place your order at the counter. There are three items on the menu here, so order whatever you like. When you're done ordering, the restaurant staff will give you a buzzer. Number two, sit in a chair. Yes, sitting in chairs. Sit in chair while you wait for your food. It may take a while for your order to be ready. Have a seat and wait. Here's the important part. While you're sitting and waiting for your food, others will come and battle you for your seat. You have the right to fight back if you want to eat the meal you ordered. Number three, eat your food. When the buzzer goes off, it means that your order is ready to be picked up at the counter. All that's left to do then is to sit back down and eat. What do you think? Easy, right? Well, you've come all the way here, so why don't you order something? Since it's your first time here, maybe you should order the Village Sub Combo. The restaurant is a chain from Unova that just opened here. It's easy to sit, or easy to eat, so it's pretty popular with kids who like single battles. All right, then, see you later. Enjoy your time at the Marvel Food Court. So that is a very interesting mechanic. I think we'll get more into that in a little bit. But let's go look for that bike store. They said to the right and up. So I think it's going to be up this way. Uh, is that it? Here it is, guys, finally! We found riding gravel and shake up your soul, Rital Cycles! So let's go get that bicycle, finally, guys! Hey, buddy. I'm learning about bikes while I work here. If you need advice on how to ride your bike, there are a couple of handbooks in the back. Is this the guy that runs the shop? Well, well, what have we here? A most energetic customer. Heck yeah, I just want to catch an air on, dude. You may call the, me Rital. I'm the owner of this cycle shop. Your running shoes, they're awfully filthy. Did you come far from here? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm, you're saying you came all the way from Little Root? My goodness, that's ridiculously far. If you had one of my bikes, you could go anywhere easily while feeling the gentle caress of the wind. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bike. Oh, wait a second, I forgot to tell you that there are two kinds of bikes. There are the mock bike and the acro bike. Mock bikes are for cyclists who want to feel the wild blowing winds as they ride. Acro bikes are for those who prefer a technical ride. I'm a real sweetheart, so you can have whichever one you like. Which one will you choose? Now, I'm pretty sure that the mock bike is faster, the acro bike can do tricks. Now, each one will have its different effects on the map. There are certain things we can only do with the mock bike, certain things we can only do with the acro bike, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm pretty sure you can come back at any time and change. Now, to get my air on, I'm fairly certain, if I'm not mistaken, I have to get the mock bike. So I'm going to go with that. So we've obtained the mock bike. Hooray! If you get the urge to switch bikes, just come to see me. All right, guys. So, we finally got the bike. I think this means that next time we will come back. Actually, we'll go all the way back to Duford. We'll go back to Granite Cave, catch us an Eren, and then start battling some trainers that we missed in Slateport and all that stuff. And we'll finally get more stuff for our team. Gosh dang, I'm really good at outros. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.